Hello everyone, so in this video uh, I'll be showing how to conduct equivalence test uh, when you are trying to compare two different processes. So the, da the data set that I'm using here is uh, the same data set that I use for the two sample t-test uh, which is the uh, film thickness of a polymer uh, that was obtained from uh, two different spin coaters. So the goal here is to uh, figure out if there is any significant difference uh, between uh, these two spin coaters. Uh, so in order to do the equivalence test uh, you go to analyze and then fit y by x and then you choose the variable of interest as your y response and the categorical, categorical variable in this case the spin quarter as your x factor and then say okay so here uh, you can see that the one-way plot has been plotted by jump by default and uh, to view the points better uh, you can choose point uh, jittered from display options and to conduct the uh, equivalence test, you choose the red triangle and say equivalence test. So here uh, you uh, enter the difference that is considered practically zero, or you enter the bounds uh, uh, which for which uh, you would consider uh, the process to be uh, on target, or in this case the the difference to be uh, practically zero between these two different spin quarters. If you remember. Uh, when we had just uh, uh, one set of data when we were trying to figure out uh, if a process is uh, on target uh, when we we're doing the equivalence test uh, we entered uh, a, a similar value so whatever value we enter uh, this will be plus or minus from the hypothesis value of zero so here uh, in this value i'm entering uh, 0 0.02 and here uh, I'll be doing pooled variance uh, because uh, in the previous video I showed that uh, we can do the uh, unequal variance test uh, to see if the spread of the data is similar or not. And from the unequal variance test, we did figure out that uh, these two sets of data are uh, more or less similar in spread. So choose the pooled variance test and say OK. So now here uh, you can see that uh, Similar to the previous time, uh, Jump has done the equivalence uh, uh, toast test or uh, two sample uh, uh, t test. Uh, so here uh, you can see that uh, uh, the p values for the lower and the upper bound uh, is uh, less than the significant uh, 0 0.05, uh, which kind of uh, tells that uh, the difference between uh, these two processes is. Uh, practically significant uh, for the bounds 0 0.02 and uh, minus 0 0.02 and also additionally you can see that uh, confidence interval has been plotted and uh, you can kind of see that the confidence interval is well within the uh, bounds uh, for which uh, we can consider uh, uh, the two spin quarters to give uh, practically significant uh, significantly uh, no difference between the two now let's see what happens when we uh, decrease these bounds. So let me do another uh, uh, equivalence test. Uh, but this time uh, I'll put a difference of uh, 0 0.01. So now uh, you can see that the confidence interval goes beyond the upper bound. And also you can see that the p-value uh, is uh, for the upper bound is uh, uh, greater than uh, 0 0.05 uh, which means that uh, the difference is going to be significant. So this is how you conduct the, uh, uh, the uh, equivalence test uh, when we are trying to compare two different processes to make a decision based on statistical analysis.